The Gospel of John, John captures the, the statement of, of Jesus. John chapter 12, verse 24. Unless a grain of wheat, referring for experience, when we walk, when we accept Jesus Christ, and as we grow in Him. Unless a grain of wheat falls down into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But when it dies, but when it dies, it produces much grain. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, as well as you can also find this in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verses 34, 36, 37, 38, and also Luke chapter 9, 23. Jesus was commanding his disciples, if you want to follow me, these are two things, are three things that I'd like you to I'd like you to do. First, deny yourself. Second, take up your cross. Third, follow me, Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. During World War II, a German pastor by the name of Dietrich Bonhoeffer was arrested and convicted and eventually hanged by the forces of Adolf Hitler. And before he was killed as or martyred, he wrote this book entitled The Cost of Discipleship. And on page 47, I would like to read to you a very sublime sentence. And it struck me the most as I follow Jesus Christ, as I walk with Jesus Christ, and as I grow my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, and I quote, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, When Christ calls a man, when Christ calls a man, he bids him come and die. Friends, dearly beloved people of God, when Christ called you, He asked you to live behind your sinful selves. When Christ called you, He, he asked you to live behind the things that destroys or defiles the body of your body, which is the temple of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. When Christ calls you, He asks you to live behind your addiction to smoking. When Christ calls you, He asks you to live behind your addiction to, to alcohol. When Christ calls you, He asks you to die and leave behind your pornographic addiction. When Christ calls you, He asks you to come deny yourself and follow Him. Dietrich Beinhofer. He gave his life in the midst of evil around him. There are five suggestions today that I would like to share with you in our walk on how to walk in growing Christ. It's a practical suggestion that I would like to encourage this church as we dedicate our time at this very moment. The first suggestion is this. Dearly beloved, spend much time. Spend much time in reading, reflecting, remembering the Word of God. Spend much time in reading the Word of God. It fascinated me here in the United States of America where there are so many people who, who could recall the names of the actors and actresses who are even not faithful to the Word of God, but they were able to recall. And I, it fascinated me, the, star, the, 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 the titles of our shows, our TV shows, and our movies. One title that struck me is Lost. That's why there's so many people who are lost. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. X Factor. Terra Nova. The Filipino Channel. At the altar of entertainment, they spend more time. I'm not condemning you today, my beloved. But where do you spend your time when God calls you to be His disciples? When God calls you to follow Him? There is no real revival and reformation in the church that I see. Because many of our, if not all, most of our people who profess to follow Jesus spend their time at the altar of entertainment rather than reading, reflecting, remembering the Holy Word of God. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, Finally, brethren, Paul declares, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think or meditate on these things. Dearly beloved, how many times, how much do you spend reading, reflecting, remembering 
the Word of God. The second suggestion that I would like to share with you is spend much time to gather your family. This is very urgent. If you're doing this, praise the Lord. If not, I would like to encourage you to begin today. Spend much time as you walk and grow to gather your family members in morning and evening worship. The Bible says, our scripture reading in Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 to 2, blessed. In Hebrew mind, the word blessed can also be translated happy. That's what the word Jesus used in Matthew 5, verses 1 to 11, in his Sermon on the Mount. Blessed is the man who walks not according to the counsels of the ungodly, nor stand in the paths of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but in his heart he delights in the law of God, and in his law he meditates day and night. Spend much time gathering your family, morning and evening worship. There is no more excuse for us to do this because we are living in a barren time. The third suggestion that I would like to speak to you today, and I would like to encourage you, suggest to you how to walk and grow in Christ, is spend much time in prayer. There was a survey among our Athens universities throughout North America, and they found out in that survey very striking uh, results. That those young people in our church, uh, in our church universities, like Andrews and Loma Linda universities, those who pray are less likely to lit a cigarette and smoke. Those who pray more are less likely to taste alcohol in their lives. Those who pray more are those people or are young people who are less likely to indulge in premarital, premarital sex, uncommitted sex, unprotected sex, because they pray. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 17, Paul wrote to the Thessalonica Christians, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. <clears throat> Wherever you are in your car, do you spend time praying? Wherever you are in the church, do you spend time praying? Wherever you are, spend much time in prayer because prayer is power. The fourth suggestion that I would like to share with you today is this. Spend much time in doing service. Galatians chapter 6 verse 10, Paul wrote to the Galatian Christians, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are in the household of faith. Acts of service will strengthen our walk and our growth in Jesus Christ. And lastly, I'd like to suggest to you today, dearly beloved people of the Lord, spend much time witnessing for Jesus. Matthew chapter 28, verses 18, 19, and 20, Jesus had the authority in heaven and on earth, and He commanded His, his disciples, Go! Go and make disciples beautiful words. Go and make disciples.